Good morning, good morning everybody. It is going to be a great, oh, how do I want to say it? A whales of a tales, whales of a tail. It's going to be a whales of a tail of a beaver's tail outside today. They are talking 88 degrees here at 7.30 already this morning. The sun is out. We have a breeze. Yes, we did pick up a little dew last night. Oh boy. Is it the brightest thing walking out here in the sun? Oh, oh. Let's step back inside for a minute. We did pick up a little dew last night, but I think with the But I think with the breeze that we're getting, the sun is out bright. I'm guessing maybe by 10 o'clock we'll be able to start running this morning. Time we get things dug around and out in the field, it's looking promising. We're gonna jump in the truck, head over to Kohl's, get the one semi, two semis unloaded, see if we can figure out why the uh, conveyor's running slow. Oh man, ah, ah. the sun is bright. Whew. Well anyhow, see if we can get this thing started. She always starts, she's a good truck. Come on girl, what's the deal? Might help put it in drive, I got neutral. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm gonna put my sweatshirt on right now. I know it's gonna warm up, but for the next half hour to hour probably, it's just, I don't know, a little breezy, a little brisk. My bones ain't awake yet. I'm not really working hard yet. Not even hardly working at all. But what we gotta do this morning, I wanna check the oil in this truck. The radiator fluid, I know it's hard to, I only ran a few loads yesterday. We just checked it, but it's still very important to flip the hood check it these older trucks you just you just never know they might go a whole week don't use any oil and then all at once half a gallon honestly this truck here I don't think it ever used any oil period but I don't want to get sloppy forget and then wish I would have we got a lot of a lot of room for she didn't use any oil. Let's give her a quick start. We're gonna go over and get things ready to unload. One thing nice about this truck, knock on wood, it usually starts right up. We got this new rock out here. It's a three inch, some of it's bigger than three, probably anywhere up to five inch, but three inch is what they call it. For a, I don't know, during harvest, walking on this stuff, my ankles, you're always, it's just, I don't know what it is about this rock, but you feel like a mountain goat climbing on the side of a cliff once we get all this packed and if we ever get that stuff straightened out, then we'll pour some nice regular uh, one inch driveway rock on top of this and that will give it a good packing on top. But right now we're just trying to get this rock packed in. If we put the little rock on it right now, it'll just push through the big rock and it'll be gone. Let's see if we can get this tractor, everything running here and start unloading some beans. Oh. They make it really, really hard to read the dipstick on these. They're really shiny. The oil, I don't know if you can see that, <laughs> but they want, it's just, like I said, really, really hard to see. She looks like she's full of oil. We'll start her up here in a second and see what we got. Oh boy. See what we got here. Huh. What's the deal? Oh, did I go too far? I think every time I go too far, I need to have this lined up with that. With that running, why don't we uh, go check the gray semi out, the Freightliner, get it started, check the fluids quick. You know, when you're out in the field, you always think the guy's driving the uh, semis. Oh, that's an easy job. But you know, they have a lot of responsibility too, and I never really thought about it much. My dad used to always drive the trucks, and I was driving the combine. But you know, you get out there and you realize every job is important, you know, like the trucks. You're checking everything over, you're making sure things are ready to roll. And then when you're on the road, you're looking out for the safety of you, the safety of the other drivers. Your eyes are always scanning. My hat is off to you truckers that are on the road all the time. It's a lot. 
when we were going to Illinois this year for the farm show, going down the interstate, it's nothing but semis. And they're getting the food, the supplies, everything that we depend on, they're getting it to where we need it to be. When we're out here working on the farm, you know, we might be putting in a 12, 15, 16 hour day, but we're normally within a few miles from home. So when we get home, we get to see our family and everything. You truckers that are on the road, some of you guys are gone for weeks on end. That's a little harder, sleeping in a hotel every night, being away from your family, your home. That's why I say every job is important. You may not think so, but somewhere it is. That fuel tank on this side holds 160 gallons. A lot of trucks have the 160 gallon on this side plus another 160 gallons on that side. And when you go get fuel, that's five bucks a gallon or so, and you're only getting six miles per gallon with a rig like this. All right, let's get this truck unloaded. Well, that's kind of how we do it. Take you for a journey underneath. Let's hope things don't fall over. Wow, that was fun. This little back, back. I can't pronounce it. Back, back, go. We're gonna crank up the little flippers here so we know the beans that goes to where it belongs. Then I gotta go to the other side and use a little crescent wrench because I haven't found my wrench yet to open the door. We'll go up above, I'll we'll show you what it looks like in the semi-trailer. Oh, these kind of got a floor that slope. These are pretty nice looking beans here. They're not huge, but at least they're not BBs. I think yesterday the boys said they were about 12 and a half percent moisture. And then every so often you get a grasshopper. Hey buddy, you'd be good in somebody's cereal. We could name you Hopper. Don't look at him too close, he might get you. Ah. Now you can kind of see how the floor is sloped. That's one thing about being the truck driver right now. When you're waiting for a load, it's hard to keep the eyes awake. I was just sitting here oh, reading comments on Daddy Cornstar's web page or YouTube channel. And uh, now I'm just sitting here in the semi. I think if I had a blanket, what do I need a blanket for? It's like 90 degrees out. I didn't mean to say that. I should lay in the sleeper back there and probably fall asleep and not wake up till tomorrow morning. But it is, just sitting out here, it's a beautiful day. It's like 88 degrees. I'm just, oh, my eyes are, won't be too long. Cooper will have me a load and then I'll be on the road and then I'll be awake. It's hard for me to believe. Little Ellie, Ellie, say hi to everybody. We actually got caught up today I was a little worried. We're hauling a little further to get the beans back home. The boys have been kind of porking them out and I'm trying to get home and getting on the highway coming back. There's been four or five tractors hauling loads. So, you know, I figured I'm not gonna try to pass them to gain eight minutes, whatever. So I've been just following them. That's fine. I just sit back, relax. And this time, I thought, boy, I'm gonna be waiting, or the boys are gonna be waiting on me, everything's gonna be full, and they're not gonna be happy. I haven't talked to them yet, so I don't know if they had a breakdown, maybe some sickles or something on the bean head, but I'm still waiting on half a load, so I get a little time to kind of stretch, which is kind of nice when you're kind of pushing it back and forth quick. It gets you wore out. Ellie, the steak, come over here, buddy. Ellie, Ellie, come on. Don't want her to run out on the road there. Good girl, Ellie. Good girl. Good girl. One thing I do like about this Brent cart here, it's lit up really nice with lights. But on the side here, I've got a digital readout so I can see it when it pulls up by the truck. Or right now you can get out and see how much is on it. He came up here with 60,000 pounds on. A little bit of dust. 
Just got home. It is just about midnight. I am hungry. I am tired. I am so ready to feel that spoon in my mouth with some food. Today's been a crazy day. Unloading beans, jumping around, had to run to town for some parts. And tomorrow morning, I got to remember to get up in the morning. I got a couple bills to pay, but we did get done in the field. I should say we should be done by now. Uh, a little bit ago, Cole texted me and said he's on the last pass. So we should get done where he's working tonight. And then tomorrow, if it's dewy and damp and whatever in the morning, we can move the equipment to the next field. And if it's nice, we'll still move to the next field. So let's call it a night, guys. Close our eyes and maybe some of you are waking up as I'm getting ready to go to bed. But I need to go shovel some food in my mouth. <laughs> 